So this is the end of the wash and style for waves. And I must say that this process really, really works. At the end, you're gonna see the progress that I've made. This is not a one time, then you have elite wave situation, but it will help your wave process. What wave is, is curled hair laid down. And what washing your hair will do is curl your hair up as much as it could be curled up as possible and you're gonna lay it down so through that process more waves is gonna form because more curls are going to appear if you like this video please press that like button if you have any information that i should know leave it in the comments below and if you think anybody else can benefit from this video please share peace and we'll let y'all enjoy the video What's up waivers? So previously I've done a video on how to wash and style hair. Apparently that was trash. So I got a new video up. This is a more updated version of how to wash and style your hair properly based on other videos I've seen. Right now you're seeing the whole list of items that I'll be using and I'll be going into individual um, items and give more detail. The first product I have is Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie with Silk Protein and neem oil by Shea Moisture. On the product, they list three key ingredients. The first one is coconut oil. That's to hydrate and protect hair while helping to reduce breakage. The second ingredient is silk protein. This is to smooth hair for a soft, silky feel. The last one is neem oil. This controls frizz while adding brilliant shine. The next product from Shea Moisture is the coconut and hibiscus curl and shine shampoo with silk protein and neem oil. Cleans and hydrates thick, curly hair. The three items that they pointed out in this product are the same as the previous item. The last product from Shea Moisture is the Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Shine Conditioner with silk protein and neem oil. This moisturizes and softens thick, curly hair. The three highlighted ingredients in this product is also the same as the other two. For head wraps, one item that we're gonna need is a fabric that can be firmly placed over our head on top of our hair that water can run freely through. I'll be using a boo-boo cap for this process. You could pick this up at any beauty supply store. Next, we'll be needing another head wrap. I'll be using a do-rag and preferably it'll be great to use a silk do-rag. The next product I'm going to use is a product that I'm really excited for that I haven't seen anyone else using. And this is the Cream of Nature Pure Honey Texturizing Curl Setting Lotion for dry hydrated hair. The three ingredients that they decided to highlight for this one is pure honey, rich coconut oil, and creamy shea butter. They also took liberty to highlight that it's a lasting firm hold without the hard crunchy feel as body quick and ready to use, silky smooth, glossy set. Another product I'm going to use is the S Curl 360 style wave control pomade and what they highlight about this product is firm hold, non-greasy, non-build up, rinses out easily with water. Lastly, we're going to need to brush through our hair. I'm going to be using a medium and a hard brush. Since my hair is kind of long, I'm going to be using a hard brush primarily of the time and I'll switch to a medium bristled brush just if the hard bristles is um too much for my head a shower scalp massager can also be used to massage the shampoo through your hair but you can also use your fingers what's up everyone the, today's wash day and i've been washing my hair wrong i looked at a few more videos on youtube so now i kind of see how to really wash waves and the process that really that it takes to wash wave so i'm not gonna take too long speaking about it but this is how my hair looks before the wash I didn't do anything to my hair yet this is how it looks after I wake up I do got some struggle areas first let me kind of like you know loosen up my hair a little bit kind of get it into place <clears throat> so I can show you how my pat my pattern really is I'm gonna be using a regular comb to loosen up my hair so I could give y'all guys a better view of how my hair pattern really is I 
what's up guys so as you can see my hair is combed out and this area is the area that really needs problems that really has problems and that's the flattest area of my wave so through this process hopefully my hair reacts to the wash and style my hair gonna hopefully my hair curls up enough and I can lay it down so I can gain progress and have my waves look even more elite without further ado let's get into this okay so the first thing I'm gonna do is shampoo and I'm gonna do this twice the first time around is to get the product out when you see me really working into my hair you're gonna see it's not gonna lather up the second time around is gonna lather up and when I really scrub it into my hair to get it clean after I'm gonna hit it with a quick brush session I believe I did it for 10 minutes and then I'm gonna rinse it out I switched to a brush just so it could have more grip when going through my hair and what this is going to do is going to stretch my hair follicles out to the maximum length to give it a bounce back. And I used a medium brush just so it doesn't hurt my scalp. So the timer went off and now it's time to wash this out and brush with some conditioner. Alright, so this is how it looks after I shampooed and rinsed everything out, or at least as much as I tried to get as much shampoo as I could get out of my hair as possible. Okay. Next, conditioner. Let's put some in. I said put a generous amount. Uh, I think that's good enough. Now that's done. I'm gonna do another seven minute breast session. seven minutes all right time to wash this out of my hair and then put in the leave in the shea moisture smoothie okay next i'm going to use the shea moisture smoothie and i'll use a generous amount of this and with this one this is where the real brush session comes in i'm gonna brush for 20 20 20 I'm gonna brush for 20 to 30 minutes. So let's start this session going, man. Get that amount.
So it's been 30 minutes. The timer went off. All right, so this is how my hair looks after the brushing, the shade moisture is moving in for like around 30 minutes. And what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna get my boob cap, open up a fresh boob cap. I'm gonna now rinse the the Shea Moisture smoothie out of my hair and I'm gonna tie it up with another do-rag. Now I know what some of you are thinking and the answer is yes. Yes I am. Alright, so I've waited till my hair is dry. Let's take this do rag off because it's killing me. I feel like my head is about to explode. This is the first layer. And please let this be go. Oh, I think it's messed up a little bit. Okay, so this is how it looks after. And I'm gonna just comb me into place. See how it looks. Okay, so this is how it looks after it's been combed out. Um, I don't see any crazy. Ooh, my forehead. See, this is why I wanted to take the rag off. This it was killing me. But then how my hair looks after. I washed, now I'm going to style it and hopefully we can see the improvements. What I'm going to use is the cream of nature for hydration because my hair is very dry now. And they said to use this directions, this formula is ready to use, no mixing necessary applied to damp hair and comb through, blow style or set on rollers when hair is fully dry, style as desired. So I'm going to damp my hair a little bit and I'm going to apply the product and brush for 15 minutes. I poured it into this little applicator bottle and I'm just gonna spray it through my hair. I'm gonna start the time at 15 minutes and get this going. Ooh, this kinda hurts so I'm gonna go get my video and brush. All right, so the timer went off, and this is the brush session I have. For the product that I just used, I know I was really excited about this product, but it didn't really do what I thought it was gonna do. I thought it was gonna hold my hair into place, and I thought it was going to give it more shine. Although it it feels like it, it does hydrate my hair, but I don't feel the firm hold that it says, and I don't feel the firm hold that it says, and I put a generous amount. Like after I sprayed in my hair, I, Put a good amount in my hand and I really worked it in my hand I brushed for a while so my hair doesn't really feel like it have that hold but luckily we have 360 styles pomade from escrow and I'm gonna do a 15 minute brush session again um I'll check back in with y'all and hopefully we see progress before this though just check out how my waves look I do see some product some progress I do see some progress but let's get a little bit more with this let's get this brush session going I'm gonna work the product into my hair a little bit before I start the brush session let's get this going All right, so I left the do-rag on for a few minutes, and this is the end result. Whew, I'm scared to look at the bat. Hopefully, I don't know, hopefully something good happens. Oh, I can already see it. I can already see it. 
It didn't lay down properly. Ooh, never mind. I'm fucking, but anyway. So this is how my hair looks now. This is how my hair looks now. I don't know what, this is how my hair looks now. And as you can see, it has improved from when I first showed it. You can see more waves and where it was flat. It's not perfect. This isn't gonna just give you elite waves off rip, but this isn't gonna give you elite wave off rip, but it's really a step in the right direction. It's really gonna improve your waves throughout the process. And this is only one time I'm doing this. Imagine constantly doing this every week or so, how much my waves are gonna improve. Hopefully y'all find this video helpful. If you liked it, press that like button. Comment below if you think I need to adjust anything in the video or for future videos and share it if you need somebody to hear this information. Thank y'all guys for watching again. Peace.